Alright guys, welcome to your 48th video and in this video we're finally going to be testing our server side portion of this chat application. But before we do that, I just want to mention that in the last tutorial, whenever I was coding, I put this um, able to type as a lowercase t. It actually needs to be an uppercase t obviously. So now go ahead and save this class and if you don't have any error messages then that means you you know typed everything successfully. And if you do then just go ahead and look at the source code on my forum and you know compare it and you guys can see what you did wrong. So anyways what I did now is I made a new class called server test dot java and guys don't worry this is only going to take like four lines of code and what this is going to do is basically going to you know run the program so the first thing we need to do is import one thing import java x swing j frame right like that and now let's go ahead and create a new object to access all the crap inside the server class so server i'll just name my object sally because she is a babe equals new server looking good so now that we can access all the stuff in the class um, we can go ahead and kick off with that start running method but before we do that we obviously need to you know do some housekeeping stuff Sally set default close operation looks pretty good so J frame exit on close which pretty much means uh, you know make sure we close whenever we hit the X and now the last line of code we need for this server side program is Sally start running because remember if we look at the server class then the GUI was taken care of in the constructor and the start running method took care of all the programming aspects so the GUI or the user interface gets taken care of right here and all the coding programming cool stuff gets taken care of right here so of course whenever you create a new object that's when the constructor gets called and we just need to run off the brains of it in the start running object so now hopefully that's all we needed to do for our program to actually work so now if I hit this button right here take a deep breath I really hope it works okay looking good so here is our program right here Bucky's instant messenger and again this area at the top is where the user is going to be able to type things in but now it says waiting for someone to, to connect and obviously you can't type things in here until you are connected to someone else because that's a nice little safety feature that we added in Bucky's instant messenger so now what we have to do is we need to build another program that's very similar to this but instead of the server which is where this program is going to be this one is going to be on the client which is your guys's computers and once we have that program set up then what you can do is have a connection and then start talking to one another and it's going to be awesome so guys we are fifty percent of the way there and uh, congratulations and guys like I said one last time if you messed up anything or you have any questions at all then go ahead and go to my forum tnbforum.com there's a link below and go ahead and get all the source co code ask any questions about this and people will answer you there so anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and well crack your knuckles and ready to jump into the client side